the guys are back with the Falcon or the Great Dane. So remember, what we're doing with this dog is working on building up the food drive. So and it's very, very important to remember the food drive has nothing to do with being hungry or anything like that. It's, it's being able to get them into a state of mind. And you really only want to train them with the collar when they're in that state of mind. But that's not always going to be possible. But you can see he's really packing on the weight. Oh, we're going to have him be the chubby Great Dane. <laughs> so, the chubby Great Dane. Um, but I'm still working on and we did make some progress yesterday with the chicken. But now the chicken's been in the refrigerator. He doesn't like it as much. So, just going to work on... Uh, and this is how you're getting the dog to understand to move in my direction with the page. Now, when you're winning a battle of attrition, I'm not trying to get this dog to heal in one day. These are usually pretty good at healing. specific, you know, we're defining heel as that location that the head turns slightly up. Looking at you. Jostling his ears, then look what happens. Alright, so you're just going to build on what we had yesterday. And, and your job one is to look for a specific angle of the body away. Falconer! Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Good boy! Good, 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 good. I kept holding it down. Letting it up would have been a disaster. I've got my nick set on zero. You're not doing anything with your nick at this point. I can tell you if you want to start having some bad training, start using the nick. Or worse off, use the low level stem. Oh, I'm telling you, that term wasn't even around. That term wasn't even around in the 90s. I don't know where it came from. I think it was post 2005. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense. He's quick cocking his leg at least since he got his little neuterectomy. <laughs> Alright, so he's got a pretty good angle. Falconer! Holding it down, holding it down. Falconer! Good boy! Good! Good! Good boy! Oh, look at him go! She said very sarcastically. But he is at least trotting, so. You have to be careful. I told Crystal we gotta be careful because that Tosca, that thing would come running at you. She was a lot bigger than him. But I was just watching a video with her in it. I think if he gains weight, he'll be. She was kind of tubby. She had a big head though. God, I love that dog. I think if he, you know, gains weight, that he'll be along the same size. But what a cute dog. I just love this dog. Falconer! Good boy. Good boy! So I've got that behavior, at least. It's not a very abrupt turn. But I can turn him. And I'm holding that pager down. We need to use a sound box because Chris is starting to get the sound box out today. And I go, why are you using that sound box? We've got to start using it more. 
because people don't want to hold that pager down long enough. I held it down all the way until he turned and started trying. And I'm increasing my distance away so that when he turns around, I am a little bit farther away. Falconer! Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. You know, you're just making the behavior. And I'm going to tell you what, he, he didn't have a recall before. But we tried, I'm telling you, we tried using that name, Haas. <laughs> it's going to be time to talk about Dave today. We didn't have time to talk about Dave all week. Not that there's anything to talk about, but I did email them, and apparently they forgot to send my hoodies. Of course, I'm convinced it's some kind of conspiracy. <laughs> but they say, we're not sending them to her. Remember the persona non gratitude. All right, so I could probably repeat the same thing. Falconer! Fabulous, fabulous, I tell you. Anyway, this dog might be available after we get him trained, but I don't know. He's like my big house pet. Bye, guys.